This mechanical comprehension practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, in the figure below, if gear A makes 14 revolutions, how many revolutions will gear B make? So first of all, I want to point out that gear A is bigger than gear B. Therefore, gear A is going to make fewer revolutions than gear B. So if gear A makes 14 revolutions, we know gear B is going to make more revolutions than that. So we know that a and B are not correct. To determine exactly how many revolutions gear B is going to make, we first have to count the number of teeth that are on each of these gears. So I'm going to start with gear A. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 teeth. And on gear B, I'm going to start right here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 teeth. All right, so the easiest way to figure this one out is, again, gear A has 15 teeth. We're going to multiply that by the number of revolutions it makes, which is 14. That's going to be equal to the number of teeth gear B has, which is 10, times the number of revolutions that it makes, which is unknown, so we'll call that X. All right, to solve for X, all we have to do is divide both sides of this equation by 10. In doing so, this crosses out. This says X equals... 15 times 14 divided by 10. Let's go ahead and simplify this. I know 5 goes into 10 2 times, and 5 goes into 15 3 times. This becomes 3 times 14 over 2. And again, we can simplify this even further. 2 goes into 2 1 time. 2 goes into 14 uh, 7 times. This is 3 times 7 divided by 1, which is just 3 times 7. 3 times 7 is 21. So we know X is going to be 21. In other words, uh, gear B is going to make 21 revolutions.